Um, endoluminal biopsy, uh, this is something that recently just, uh, uh, something that was uh, uh, published probably within the past like few, uh, actually April 19th, 2022. Um, this was a, 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 a group that decided to biopsy uh, uh, the endo, like uh, basically perform an endoluminal biopsy of the endothelium in that region. And it's so simple. They basically deployed a coil at the origin inflow of this AVM. And once they were done, they actually retrieved that coil after contact with them within a minute, they retrieved that coil and analyzed like, uh, like when this coil was actually pulled back all the way back into the, uh, into the sheath, they were able to essentially analyze tiny endo, like uh, basically endothelial cells and identify and run genetic tests on uh, uh, like on these a arterial venous malformations. This is definitely something that's happening. This is happening now. Um, and uh, like, there's no doubt in my mind, this will continue to happen. In a way, um, I imagine us doing this in, in cases where you have a patient with like CNS vasculitis, um, as opposed to doing like a, like a, like a burr hole and doing a leptomeningeal biopsy. This is something that is very easy. You're actually doing an angiogram to confirm this. Why not deploy a stent, a coil, and ultimately try to analyze the, the, the actual endothelium? It is, will happen. It's just a matter of time. Um, uh, this is another thing that's really, really cool that's happening in the field. Um, this is the first inhuman endovascular treatment of hydrocephalus um, with a miniature uh, uh, transdural shunt. Um, Basically, this is, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but um, apologize. Uh, basically, again, through the vein, you're able to puncture into the uh, subarachnoid space and uh, implant this very small one-way valve that will essentially allow CSF to be uh, shunted from the ventricular system into the veins. Um, so you're essentially uh, creating a VP shunt. Um, instead of all the way going to the, like the, to the, uh, uh, like uh, the, it, we, I mean, we've done VA shunts, instead of going all the way down to the per peritoneum, now you can essentially just slowly uh, uh, um, deploy these and um, allow the CSF to leak into the vein. This is something that is happening. This will un definitely become a game changer. This is, there's a randomized controlled trial that is actively underway. Um, and uh, this will, like, like I said, this will revolutionize the field, no question. Um, this see, you can see over here, they're going up into the transverse sinus, and uh, there's a, here there's a needle that's passed through the microcatheter, and uh, here this is the shunt tip in the cisterns um, to allow the, the CSF drainage. Um, I'm to see this. This is actually something really cool. It's something that we actually have in our in our angio suite now. Most, most like the next generation of angio suites biplanes are going to have holograms where you're able to essentially move the um, move the three D spin to figure out exactly what the best angle to tackle uh, like an uh, like a three D reconstructed version of an aneurysm. Um, this is something that I was actually playing with. This is my hand. Um, So you're able to control this virtually. You're able to control this 3D spin uh, without actually touching anything and without like decontaminating, like uh, without even like changing your gloves, like in the middle of a procedure. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from NeurosurgeryTraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.